This is Duke University. Uh, good evening. It's a, it's a real pleasure to be here. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm particularly thrilled to have an opportunity to introduce this film, um, the subject of which um, has, uh, that is to say, the life of Simon Bolivar, um, uh, is something about which I've, um, I've thought a great deal in, uh, in recent years. Um, as uh, some of you know, I was uh, sent to Venezuela uh, by President Bush. I was subsequently uh, expelled by President Chavez, and then I was asked to return. Thank uh, you. I was asked to return uh, to Venezuela, which I did uh, by uh, President Obama. Now, one of the things that struck me in uh, uh, during my tenure in Caracas was the degree to which. Um, some elements uh, in the Americas had essentially appropriated the image and the history of uh, Simon Bolivar um, and to some degree um, used uh, the figure of Bolivar um, to uh, mark a difference um, and, and indeed as a kind of wedge between the North and the South. But my own experience um, suggested that uh, Simón Bolívar was a different kind of figure. He was a foundational figure, uh, not only for South America, but also for North America. You know, in, in much the same way that, um, as the Spanish parlantes aquí in the in the audience understand, that we encounter public squares and streets in Latin America named after Kennedy or Washington or Jefferson. Around the United States, there are um, quite literally dozens of cities, streets, and um, even cities. I think I counted <laughs> 13 cities in the United States um, named after Simon Bolivar. Uh, but during my uh, short period of exile after my expulsion, um, I happened to be visiting the National Cathedral in Washington and looked up and rather to my astonishment, saw in one of the stained glass windows in the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C., this magnificent uh, uh, commemoration of the life and achievements of Simon Bolivar. I'm not sure um, if um, any other experience uh, quite as vividly brought home to me the importance of the figure of Simon Bolivar for all of the Americans. Uh, now, this evening we're going to, to have the opportunity to see a very special film. Uh, um, uh, and I, I think that the, uh, the creators of this film deserve um, much credit for having um, uh, taken on the immense challenge of trying to capture in 90 minutes or so a figure of, of such Significance. So I think it's it's going to be a real treat. I know that in one of the, the reviews I read, as um, uh, one commentator began listing some rather uh, minor quibbles, the uh, the critic finally said, "I think that what I'm saying is I wish this movie had been longer." Uh, um, I'm not sure most of us wish movies had been longer, but this is one of those films um, that uh, that leave people wanting more. Now, before uh, I, uh, I wrap up, I would like to, uh, at, at a minimum, um, recognize a couple of people who um, uh, are our very special guests. Um, first, Professor Jaime uh, Chaveras uh, Gonzalez from the University of the Central de, uh, de Venezuela. Please come on up. Gracias a la invitación que nos ha hecho nuestro magnífico amigo Miguel en nombre de las autoridades de la Universidad Central de Venezuela. Quiero agradecer especialmente que nos hayan convocado. Es un momento muy, muy particular para Venezuela. Desde el punto de vista del cine es un momento muy dulce. Estamos ganando muchos premios, estamos haciendo muchas películas. Desde el punto de vista político y económico estamos en el centro del huracán. 
que parece que está perdiendo fuerza. Ya lo veremos en diciembre. La película que van a ver es una película muy hermosa que fue hecha en el año 2013. El cine es un arte que es difícil conciliar todos los puntos de vista. Eh, estamos muy radicalizados en Venezuela, de manera que la película tiene la música de un insigne autor que es Dudamel, ocasionó problemas, gozó del mayor presupuesto que se haya dado nunca en la historia del cine venezolano, 50 millones de dólares, es una cantidad imposible en Venezuela, y hay quien se queja del mecanismo a través del cual se llegó. Yo creo que debemos ver la película y que si posteriormente hay algo en lo que yo pueda hacerles de alguna utilidad, será un placer conversar con ustedes. Tiene una bellísima ciudad y de nuevo gracias por habernos invitado. Um, uno de, 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 de los co-directores del festival, tanto como Miguel Rojas Sotelo um, y Rafael Azuba, director de artística de la próxima película. Entonces, muchísimas gracias a todos y ojalá que lo disfruten.